What's up, y'all? So these are my Japanese rat snakes. This is a male and female pair. The Latin name for these is Alafe Climacophora. They are native to Japan. As far as appearance, they are highly variable. Um, their colors can range from being dull olive or dull brown to yellow. Some are silver. Uh, they even come in blue. Also in the wild, they have a albino population. They're gonna max out around five feet on average. In general, their attitude, uh, they're known for being shy or nervous, even defensive. Um, but over time, that goes away, as you can see. I've raised these two from babies, still raising them up. They're really not off put by anything. It does take a little work, but um, with patience, in time, they will chill. They are considered a intermediate level snake, but I think um, somebody just starting out could keep one of these uh, without too many problems. They're not too difficult to keep. They are semi-arboreal. So uh, in their enclosure, they will appreciate space to climb I do recommend having hides for them, either hides or uh, visual barriers. Uh, if you're keeping them in glass enclosures or anything clear like tubs, I would cover up sides and back of the enclosure, give them hides, give them somewhere to feel safe and secure. When you take them out, they will be a little nervous, but if they have a enclosure where they feel secure, as long as you put them back and they can go somewhere and hide over time, that interaction with you, um, they won't view you so much as a threat. And um, they will chill. So they started moving around, but even with the movement, you can see that they're not, um, they're not trying to bite me. They're not really trying to get away. They're just moving. But because there's two of them and I'm recording, it is a little difficult to do this, but you can see their colors, like even the even one snake itself is variable. Um, the female, which is this one, she's like cream color in the front and then her back end is, is yellow. Really nice looking snakes. Depending on the lighting conditions, this female can, she looks blue sometimes, especially in the front half. Also, they have like a, a like a shine or really nice gloss to them, like all over their body. But you can see they're really not that nervous or defensive. You just gotta give them time and patience. Um, I think a lot of times the, the way a snake reacts depends really on the keeper more than the snake itself. So that's something to consider too.
nice close up. Here the enclosures, they pretty much both have the same setup, but you can see that the back and sides are taped off. And although they don't have a lot of space to climb, they do have areas to perch on, which they will perch on top of these. And the female will perch here. Um, if they don't have the traditional hide, so they have visual barriers, which these both help. So if you create the right visual barriers, you can make your snake feel secure. That's really gonna help when the, when the snake is in a glass enclosure and especially something that is um, visual, like a rat snake, they can see out of the glass. So they're gonna really be paying attention to whatever is going on. So here's the male, put him back. So for the temperature, you want to do 82 on the hot side. These guys can tolerate cooler temperatures and they would actually prefer cooler temperatures. Um, depending on where you live, you might not even have to provide a hot spot in the summertime. I'm in Southern California, so it's, it's pretty hot here in the summer. And I don't really use the AC like that because I like it warm too. So it gets pretty warm in here. I don't have to turn on the heat for them because it can re easily reach 82 in my apartment. Also, you might notice that they probably won't even use the hotspot that much. In the wild, their diet consists of bird eggs, birds, they'll take frogs and lizards, um, young ones will even take other snakes, rodents. In captivity, they do better on smaller meals. You can do multiple small meals and that will suit them better than doing one large meal. Their humidity level should only be moderate. Uh, around 60% is good enough for them. Overall, this species is not difficult to keep and they will make rewarding captives. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.